Have you ever dealt with imposter syndrome? You're going to start something new and then just didn't think you could do it, didn't think you had the value. Maybe you're an athlete, just all of a sudden thought, man, who am I to do this? Well, hey, I have three tips, three tips for you to get rid of the imposter syndrome once and for all. This is Mark Nelson. And I've dealt with imposter syndrome all my life. So I'm going to tell you, one, where it comes from and how to deal with it. Usually, imposter syndrome comes from somewhere in your past. And it's, we all deal with this because of whether it's family members, friends, kids at schools, teachers. It's when you're really excited and you're young, all of a sudden people start telling you, you can't do that. Sometimes it starts as when you're with your parents when you're four or five. No, don't. You can't do that. You're going to get hurt. You're going to do this. You're going to fail. You're going to. And all of a sudden, because your brain has been, it's like it's been wired to believe you can't do things. And that's really sad because you can accomplish anything you want to do. So here are the three tips. One is you need to write down all the negative things you think about yourself. Seriously. You know, I dealt with I'm not good enough. I was told that for a long time. And I don't think it was on purpose. It just came from a sibling, kind of older than I was, and just teasing me and whatever, and always told me I wasn't good enough. And yet at the end, you know, we're both in our 20s. He said, man, you were one of the best athletes. I was a basketball player. You're one of the best athletes I've ever been around. See, and I always believed when I started doing something, I always believed I wasn't good enough. So one, write down thoughts that are not helping you at all. Well, I'm not good enough. You're not smart enough. You're too heavy. You're not pretty enough. You're not techy enough. Just start writing them down. And that will help a ton. Now, here's the other way of this. Is one, you have to reprogram your brain. And how do you do that? You start writing down affirmations. I am good at everything I do. I attract money easily and abundantly. I am now weighing 185 pounds. I am an amazing coach and consultant. You start writing down affirmations and read them every day. The next thing you need to do, and I'm probably going to give you more than three tips. The next thing you're going to do is I write down a vision statement. Where do you see yourself being your ideal life in one year? Or write down your ideal life in five years. What do you want to be doing? And then read it. And then what you got to do is this is what the millionaires do. They visualize. Meaning what they do is they pick one goal. And what they'll do is they close their eyes and they start seeing that success. If you want to build better self-esteem, close your eyes and see yourself succeeding. See yourself speaking on stage. See yourself being given a job. See yourself shaking somebody's hand in reward. See yourself with your hands raised up, celebrating. See the smile. That's what you're doing. You're trying to rewire that brain. So it starts thinking different thoughts than what we've been programmed with. And I know it's a challenge, but you can do it. The last tip is you need to write down all your accomplishments, all the things you've done. See, I'm starting a coaching business. And it's a brand new thing, so it's kind of hard. Right, because people don't know I'm a coach, so I have to get over some things. So I started listing down all the classes I've taken, all the the courses I've taken, all the masterminds I've been in, all the courses I've made, 
and I start putting value to that because everything I've learned, that is worth a lot of money. See, I know I can help people because I have value. I know I've learned some things that people need to know today. I know I can help. And it all comes from me. One, writing down my vision. First, writing down what things bothered me, what was holding me back. Writing down my vision. Visualizing. And then writing down everything I've accomplished. Now, I know you can do it. Hey, again, this is Mark Nelson. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button. If you're listening to this, my podcast, subscribe, follow on your favorite channel where you listen to this, these things. And hey, I believe in you. I know you can accomplish everything you do. If you want to set up a free strategy call, go to marknelsononline.com forward slash call and just pick a time. And if you can't get the right time, then send me a message and we'll work something together that works best for you. So there you go. marknelsononline.com forward slash call. You take care. Bye.